problem. That's also why you don't push the lane, by the way. It's so easy to get a gank off with in uh, top lane, for example, or in mid lane. If someone is pushing the tower and doesn't pay attention to his health, so even if he's only at 75% health, once you get one stun off and you bash on him with two persons, there's no way he's getting back to his turret without dying. So, that's, I think, the most important thing. We saw a lot of fights over Dragon. Who gets to do Dragon? Because Dragon is a very important objective. It's almost a thousand gold It's for your team. It's 975. Uh, in 3v3, it's even bigger of, a, an, ob of an objective because it's, uh, well, it's more gold per person. I think it's 280 in uh, 3v3. Here it's 190 plus 25 for the p the person who kills it. So, all in all, it's very important to keep that warded. To be aware that once someone starts dragon on his own or with two persons, you need to harass them. You need to keep them from killing dragon until your whole team arrives. And in low ELO, you will need to ping the dragon several times for people to actually show up. If you're in top lane and you have a laning opponent there, so your enemy is still there, there's no need for you to come. Because whether it's 5v5 or 4v4, that's the same thing. But it's better for you to stay in top lane because you actually get some experience there and you get gold there. And you don't want your lay uh, your tower to be destroyed just because you want to help dragon. But if you're mid lane or if you're bottom lane or if you're the jungler, you run to dragon. At the moment, the opponent tries to get it and, well, basically try to four v four them. And if you cannot, you just harass them until they give up, which isn't too hard to do. I mean, it's not like they're going to try for five minutes to get the dragon. No, they're either going to get the dragon or give up. Because as long as they stay on dragon, so as long as they keep on fighting, uh, there's a chance they will lose one of the turrets, or there's a chance that they will get outfarmed, or whatever. Nobody stays at dragon that long. So just protect it. Once you protected it, go back to your lane or to the jungle and go farm again. Communication in this case, very important. As I said, you need to ping the dragon if it's under attack because people don't watch the minimap. And, or not as often I should say as they should. And, well, once you protect the dragon, once you communicate it properly, what you're trying to do with your ganks, uh, the rest should be fairly easy. So jungle Shaco, not a big mystery. Just get some nice items. It doesn't really matter whether you go attack speed like Hotshot did here, attack damage, which is also fine, or whatever else you can think of. I mean, I don't know if AP Shaco can actually jungle. He probably can. I mean, he will have some trouble in the early stages, but yeah, and your team will not have the uh, razors, the Madrix razors. It's actually better to have the Madrix blood razors as a jungler because then you can take out Baron fairly easily. But in this case, you saw that they had no trouble with Dragon, and they wouldn't have any trouble with Baron if they tried that. Because, well, you just do it at a higher level. So instead of doing it when it first spawns, you can burn when it's a little later in the game. As long as you protect it, as long as you make sure that the opponents don't get it first. But that's all about warding, I guess. I mean, these people use a lot of wards, preferably in their own lanes, so to protect themselves from the gangs but also in the enemy jungle. Well, as you saw how easy it is to actually find the enemy jungler 
by having one ward at uh, what's the red camp called uh, the lizard so they had one ward there placed by Poppy in the beginning of the game and they just uh, he just knew that Mundo was there because he saw just this little flash of him on his minimap he clicked he saw him going for the double golems and then assumed that he was still there that he wouldn't have run back through the turrets to his base and indeed he was. He was in the jungle, they killed him, and they got an extra kill out of that. Because people were trying to defend Mundo, who was at very low health at that point. And, well, they just got two free kills. Well, not entirely free, because Jenna made a mistake. But, point stands that if you have wards out, if you have map, map vision, if you keep track of your minimap, you can actually get a lot done even or maybe especially in the low games because once you're the only one uh, paying attention to the minimap you may actually be the only one well kind of re reaping the benefits of paying attention so you might get an extra kill or two while the opponents do not anyway there's a lot of things we could be analyzing on this game, uh, but I wanted to just keep it simple. Ward uh, places, ward the entire map if you need to. So, well, not the entire map because they do cost money. But ward wherever you need, you think you'll need them. Um, communicate properly. So. Tell your jungler where you want ganks and when you want them. So when your stun is up or whatever. Oh, also, and we see that a lot in the high elo games. And we, s we don't see that at all in the low elo games. Once a gank fails or once you get your opponent low but he runs behind his tower. Don't chase him. It doesn't matter that he might die at some point. What, yeah, how, how foolish are you going to be, or Luke, when you actually get killed and he is not? We, we saw that once when uh, TF actually ran to their Nidalee and got healed. They still attacked him once, then he ran behind the turret, they knew he's gone. We're not going to run past that turret to take additional hits and maybe not even get the kill. So they ran around and tried to get him from the other side. They couldn't find him there and basically just gave up. They were still alive, so that's good enough. They didn't get a kill, but they made TF go home. So he miss he's missing experience, he's missing gold. He's basically getting under leveled by that. They took out the golem, so the, the blue buff. And they took out some of the experience of whoever was jungling. And that in itself should be enough for this one, well, one thing you're trying to do. I mean, the kill would have been great, but it's not worth dying for. Because if you die yourself, then you don't actually get an uh, well the advantage and it's all about getting the advantage and trading one for one is not a good thing anyway uh, this was a bit of rambling about all kinds of things I probably going to need to write down what I want to talk about next time that would have been so much better and so much easier well, I'm sorry about uh, the rambling and I'm probably going to take my own advice, write some things down before I actually start one of these. Let me know uh, what you would like me to do. If you found an interesting game somewhere, it doesn't matter if it's high elo or low elo. Maybe it's one of your own games. Maybe it's a game of one of your friends. Uh, if it's on YouTube, I can easily get it. If you upload it to some site where I can get it, that's fine too. 
Uh, I liked, uh, well, at least 720p. If it's lower than that, it's really hard to actually see what's going on. Especially after I downloaded the video, actually get it processed and things like that. But, well, let me know. And, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, good game. See you next time. Chee chee.